Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in this lesson we're going to look at how we can use PowerPoint to create pictures or images that we want to use in exam papers or just worksheets and stuff like that. So um, this is very easy to do. Um, some people feel like oh, if you want to make your own images you need to be good at paint or you need to be able to use Photoshop. Yeah, we can just use a simple PowerPoint to create our own images. So let's have a look at the different ways that we can do that. Now, first of all, let's say I've got this little, little food chain over here. And so what I've done here is I love these little images over here that these are actually icons that you get in um, PowerPoint. So you can go when you insert, you can actually go and insert an icon when it gets there. There we go. So there's the icons that are available and there's a whole bunch of them. So let's say we want to go search for, we want to add a lion to this particular food chain. So you can go look at all the different options. It's obviously loading them quickly. And once they're all loaded, there's a whole bunch of different options available for you. And they're quite fancy little things. You can see the different options. They're nice little icons. Um, you can go look at the animals. I want to see what animals they got there. Maybe I want a bear. So I'm going to take that bear. I'm going to click on it. You can obviously click on multiple ones. You don't have to go do this individually each time. You can insert all three, but I don't want all three. I just want uh, the bear. And then you can insert it, and it will insert the bear for you as an icon over here. So let's wait for it to appear. So downloading the picture for me and where's my bear? There's my bear. So there's my little lovely little bear. So you can then go to the graphic format and here's where you can change the, the fill of the graphic. Maybe you want to make the bear, um, I don't know why you would want to make it green, but let's make it green and you can even give it a nice little purple outline. So it's like a Hulk bear. So you could do stuff like that and you can make it bigger and so on. So you can do little things like that. They're fancy little icons that you can do. If you don't like that icon, you can always right click on it and change the graphic to a different icon. Um, so you can do all that. So I'm just take the bear away because I'm happy with my, my food chain like it is over there. So I've got these little arrows. These arrows I got from inserting a particular shape. So you can insert little shapes. Um, you can insert clip art or stuff like that. You can even go onto um, the internet and get an image. So let's say I want this banana and I didn't want the background. So you can watch our previous video about how to remove a background. But let's say I want the banana. So you can take the banana. Hey, I want this banana. I'm going to copy it. and I'm going to paste that into my... Um, into my let's paste it let's paste the picture i'm going to paste this into my food chain it looks a bit awkward because it's not as real as it doesn't look like the other ones because the other ones are icons but let's say the the, the rat's going to eat the banana so you, you can do things like that so you can make this into a lovely little image uh, maybe i want to put a nice little label in so i'm going to come here and insert a text box so i'm going to put a little text box at the top here and i'm going to say the word food chain and you can I'm going to make it nice and big so that it takes up the whole space. I'm going to make it centered, make it in red, bold it, and just make it a bit bigger, something like that. So you could do something like that. So this is my image that I've got. Now, now that I'm done with my image, I want to create it as a JPEG or a PNG or some, some file that I can insert into a exam paper or a PowerPoint or even a website. So there are lots of ways of doing it. The one way is if I take this image, so it's got lots of different components. So the one way is to take that component and just press shift or control. I think it's control. If I'm pressing control, don't lose control, just press control. And if I hold control down, I can click on multiple elements at the same time. So there we go. They're all selected. And now I'm going to right click and group them. So I'm going to group them into one little image. So if I move them, that's another nice thing about grouping is that they all move together at the same place. Okay. So now that I've got them all as one group, the one way of making this an image is I can right click on this image and I can save it as a picture. So I'm going to save it as a picture somewhere. So I'm going to go save it in my computer quickly. So I'm going to save it over here. You'll notice it's saved as a PNG, which means the background I think will be transparent, which is nice if you want to have it on like a PowerPoint where there's a colorful background. So I'm going to call this as food chain one in case I have to do many of them. So I'm going to save it as a food chain. So let's have a look at it. Boom, boom. So it's it saved it as a picture. Now, if I go to that folder, you'll notice there's a food chain there. Now, if I go to insert a brand new slide, let's go add a new slide. Let's go see what this picture looks like. If I drag that food chain picture here, you can see what it looks like. It's a whole, it's a whole picture. Then you can make it smaller and so on. And if you change the background of the image, you'll see that the image is going to be transparent in the background so you see it's made all nice transparent. what happens if you want that background to be white if that's the case then when you make this image all these little components make sure that the background the shape full is not no full it's actually white 
So if you and then you then you're gonna have to play around with sending stuff to the back and so on. So send it to the back so that the stuff in front will be, um, so that you can actually or not don't make the graphic make it full. So there we go. So let's try that. Actually, a better way might actually be if we insert a shape at the back. So we're gonna put a little white block at the back of it. So let's make a nice little white block. So that's gonna be my image border, whatever. Let's do that. Make it nice and big however what you want the image i'm going to give this shape a white fill with no outline and then i'm going to send this to the back send it to the back so that's the back so now when i got my group here i'm going to make sure that i actually include that big white block at the back i want to include that as my as my thing where's that block at the back yes it's gone there's my white block that I'm making at the back and I'm going to click on this and this and regroup them basically group them as an image so now I can save that as an image and hopefully that'll give me a white background so let's save this as I've got another one as I said food food chain 2 save it let's see what that does if I come to this area and I go find that food chain too, and I drag it over here. Oh, there you can see now I've got an image with a white background. So you can do that type of thing. Okay, so that's one way of doing images. You can do that. It's a funky little way to do it. The other way that you can do it is that you can actually save this whole slide as an image. So when you go file and then you go save as, you can actually save it as a particular image. So when you say, uh, I don't want to save it as a PowerPoint, I want to go actually save it as a JPEG or a PNG. So you can do that type of option. So let's take an example here. Um, you see over here, I've got the banana and that, and I've got nothing over there, but oh, I've got a little ostrich over here that's running. I want to save this whole thing as an image. Um, and then you can just save this picture as an image. You can file save as. Now what happens if, oh, I've actually got a few images here. I've got this one, I've got this one with them running. I don't want that one there. And then I've got like the images of, of, of the little ostrich running. Look at it run, look at it run, look at it run. And then, then it gets to the end. Okay. So let's say I want all of these as separate images. Now to save time, I don't want to save one, each one individually. You can actually just go say save as, and we're going to save it in the same folder, but we're going to save it as a JPEG. And we're going to just save it as what? Uh, ostrich running. I'll call it ostrich. Ostrich running. So I'm saving it as a JPEG called Ostrich Running. Now, now this is a little trick. When I click Save, it's going to ask me, do you want to save just the one that I was busy with or all of them? Now, because I've got so many slides and I, I, I want that animation, I want those separate uh, slides as separate images. I want to actually save all the slides. And so what that will do, it gives me a little message. When I go to that folder, you'll see there's a folder called Ostrich Running and there's now a slide for each one. Now, obviously those first ones we didn't actually want, so I'm gonna delete them. So I delete them, but now, there we go. I've got my little ostrich running. So I've got a, a picture for each slide of them running. So that's another way that you can use PowerPoint to make images. So the, as I said, there are lots of ways you can, you can make your own logos by using PowerPoint. Um, maybe you wanna go and use the images and go insert some text um, and stuff like that and the different types of word art so you can make nice little logos and stuff like that and then you can save that as an image and there you've got your own image editor using PowerPoint just a quick side note if you're going to use the slide as your whole image um, obviously you uh, you might not use the whole space you might have to crop the parts you don't want but another thing you can do if you come to design the design part and you come to slide size here's where you can actually change the size of your slide to be the dimensions of the picture that you want it to be so if you know in advance how what the dimensions of the picture you want to be you want it to be a landscape or a portrait type picture here's where you can change the slide detail so that you don't have to worry about modifying or cropping things at the end so don't forget to change the slide size at the end okay more videos on PowerPoint will be on the way. Click on that subscribe button so you can be notified when they get uploaded. Go check out our playlists in the meantime. Leave a like, leave a comment. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.